guys I'm doing another vlog today and um, welcome to another vlog and this morning I'm having um, some pears so I wouldn't say this is my breakfast because I just need to get these eaten because I left them for a few couple of days and I thought like they need to get eaten so I've got four in this little tray thing and I'm gonna have these I'm not a major fan of pears I got these on Saturday um, at a discount so that's the reason why I've had them but I generally don't really I'm not a major fan of pears um, so I'm gonna have these and then I'm probably gonna have a cherry and banana smoothie because I'm really I really need to get rid of the, the cherries that I have in the fridge so I'm gonna have that after I'm feeling really extremely low on energy this morning like extremely tired and just like uh so yeah I need to just get some food in me let me taste these actually because I had one the other day and it didn't taste that great so I left it for two days mm. yeah it's sweet sweet I just I just generally don't like pears that much they're okay I don't like pears I don't really like apples I'm gonna have these and then I'm gonna have my smoothie so for some reason it's a really mild and sunny day in London it's kind of odd for this time of the year but anyway I am not complaining. I'm about to make myself a um, banana and cherry smoothie. But prior to having that, I'm going to eat some. Oh, hold on, how they've tied this. I'm going to eat some sugarcane. Not sure why they've tied it like this. I was thinking, cool, they gave me a cool and uh, a free tie string um, drawstring bag. <laughs> Looking at it, I was thinking if, if the holes are small enough, I can use it as a nut milk bag. But anyway, it's not really the case. Oh, it's annoying. <laughs> annoying! Yeah, so I'm going to have some of this sugar cane. Obviously, it's not going to taste the same as when it's, you know, directly from the tree and all that, or just picked immediately. But um, I'm going to have some. I'm going to wash it first. Rinse it off. I should recut really it, shouldn't I? Sugar cane. This is sweet. It is sweet. Mm, mm, mm. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, so cherry bit on the smoothie. Can't work. Just putting the lip thing on the Nutribullet cup. Cherries, banana, spinach, and coconut water, and a bit of normal water. Taste test. Mmm. And the sugar cane is just ugh, so sweet. So sweet. I've already had one piece of this, probably gonna have some of that, then some of this, and then I'm gonna have some cucumber sliced up with mango chutney. I'm probably gonna have some um, string beans with it as well. Let's see how it goes. I just have a, a taste right now for mango chutney. So I'm gonna have it with cucumber slices. So here's my drink, and I'm gonna have this, and I'm gonna be happy. Mmm. So sweet. By the way, at the moment, I'm just completely label free when it comes to my food in terms of, I'm not saying, oh, I'm doing the starch solution or raw till four or fully raw. I'm just eating a high carb, relatively low fat um, diet. So I'm not 80, 10, 10, as in 80%, you know, carbs and 10%, 10% protein, 10% fat. I'm just trying to keep my carbs high, the fat's low, but I'm not saying, oh, it needs to be 5%, it needs to be 10%. If I have some avocado and it goes over like 10%, 15% in a day, I'm not going to be having nightmares about it. Because um, at one point, I did get quite obsessive about the ratios and, oh, I can't have nuts today because if I have nuts, it's just going to be like, oh, you know. I'm, I'm eating nuts. I mean, I bought some nuts today. I bought some... Um, I bought a few things. I bought, uh, I bought some roasted mixed nuts and I bought some Thai chili rice crackers. And what else did I get? Some raisins. 
got some raisins and some oranges and some oats. I want some oats because I'm going to make these um, chocolate. I don't even know how to. I don't even mean how to explain it. They're like chocolate brownie flapjack things that my son absolutely loves. And they're really sweet, so I'm going to make some of those today. I'll probably show you what those look like when they're done or while I'm making them. But right now, I'm going to dig into this. And to be honest with you, after I might even have some of these. Yeah. So, as I said, I wanted to have some mango chutney and um, cucumber. So, I've got some mango chutney in here and some cucumber. And yeah. The mango chutney, I just kind of threw loads of things together. Mango, curry powder, black pepper, a bit of scotch bonnet pepper, um, tiny bit of sea salt, and some um, dates, dates, what do you call it? Date paste syrup thing that I made. I just kind of blended it all up with a tiny bit of scallion as well. And then I've got the cucumber, and it's absolutely, oh, it's so nice. These organic cucumbers, so nice. You're probably wondering what meal this is. This is just whatever I want it to be, because it's about two o'clock now. And I'm just eating when I'm hungry. I'm not saying, oh, this is my breakfast, this is my lunch. Just my food. I'm having that and I'm drinking. I bought this BPA free bottle of Amazon. It's a, it's a one gallon bottle and I'm just kind of getting through that at the moment. Thirsty. Oh. Yes, yeah, so I'm probably going to have a few more snacks throughout the day. I might have. Some more of the chutney with some celery this time. So there it goes. What are you eating today? Mm. As you guys know, I write poetry. Check out thinkingaboutaboy.com and laptopsandcoffeecups.com for poetry and stuff. But yeah, um, I'm just sitting here and I'm just like, you know what? Just finish having my cucumber, mango, chutney stuff. And, uh, excuse me. I thought I'd just recite a poem to you. Doesn't have a name. I just wrote it on my phone, and I just thought, do you know what? Let me just let me just read it to you. I was thinking about doing a video for this for my laptops and coffee cups channel, but hey, I'll probably do one anyway. Thinking about a boy um, poetry book is going to be out probably the end of March. So yeah, anyway. You woke me up out of sleep, now I'm wide awake, captured every part of me, now I can see, because I was blinded, tired, trapped, dying, wrapped up in his lies, now I'm free, I escaped captivity, now I'm me, he took the key to my soul, left me lifeless, an empty vessel, listless, comatose, spaced out, delirious, now I'm fearless, android strength, he left me breathless, weak, walking dead asleep, now I've risen from the ashes like a rebirth. Reincarnated, now I know my worth. When I replay my life, I get these goosebumps. Sounds like a movie, replaying over and over, but now it's over, it's over. The pain is over, it's over. I've been taken apart and reconstructed. I died, rose again like I resurrected. Resurrected because it's over, it's over. Did you love her? Because I loved you, now it's over. Yay! Yay! Yeah, so that's it, really. I thought, do you know what? Sometimes when I'm doing my vlogs, I'm like, yeah, showing you food and whatever. But sometimes I think to myself, you know what? My poetry is my... It's like... It's like my child, basically. And for years, I've just been so reluctant to share my poetry. Be so reluctant to a point where people would ask me and I would freeze, like, literally tears in my eyes. Like, no, I can't show you my poetry. And... When I started doing these Fault for the Day videos, um, one of the things I mentioned in one of the Fault for the Day videos was to live life fearlessly. And I sat down and thought to myself, am I doing that 100% or am I just kind of coasting? And I thought, yeah, I'm running a business. So yeah, I'm kind of doing something. But I thought to myself, the thing that scares me, one of the things that scares me so much is reciting and, sh and sharing my poetry to people. 
with people, it, 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 it just gets to me. Like, I'm like, I can't. You know, there's a massive difference between, you know, um, writing a piece for a newspaper and writing a poem and sharing it with people. It's, it's just like, a lot of the poems I write are about my deepest, you know, the, my, the deepest thoughts that I have, like, and to, re to read them to somebody means that I'm revealing, them, revealing to them my soul, revealing my soul to them, which I, 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 <laughs> I find quite difficult to do. Um, so yeah, I'm 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 still scared of showing my poetry, but I'm gonna do it as much as possible. And I do have a channel called Laptops and Coffee Cups. I've got about three videos on there, and that's like just a few poems. But I haven't really. I'm trying to put together a really creative piece for that channel, and I haven't really had the opportunity to do it. But I do have poems on there, and I'll also leave links for um, uh, an account that I have where I. It's not YouTube, it's a different like, um, writing website where you can share your writing on there. And um, I've done a few like face-to-face -face videos and poems on there, so I'll leave the links below for those anyway. Rambling. I'll show you the rest of the food that I'm going to eat and have a little end-of-the-day discussion. Peace. Right now I'm having... Or um, I made some freshly squeezed orange juice with my electronic press thing. And I've just put some wheatgrass powder in it. I put half a tablespoon of wheatgrass powder in there. Tastes pretty nice, actually. I think this drink is really good for people that have low iron because wheatgrass, obviously, for the iron and orange juice for the vitamin C. As you know, the two go together. It, in order for your body to absorb iron, you need vitamin C as well. So it's quite a good combination. And I've had issues with my iron recently. And I did talk about it very briefly, I think. But um, they gave me iron tablets, basically. They said that I needed iron tablets. And when I went to another doctor, they told me that the levels of my iron wasn't as low as it, sh it should have been to get iron tablets, basically. So he was saying that the doctor shouldn't have given me the iron tablets. But he was saying that I should try and make sure I get my greens in, which... I have been doing, but I think in order to really get enough in terms of t to boost your iron, you need to eat bundles of it. So that's why I bought the wheatgrass powder, um, so because it's, it's like concentrated. So days where I don't get enough fresh greens, I can just have this. Anyway, having a pre-dinner well, pre snack. So I'm having some more of that. Oh, let's see if I can just put it down. Having some more of that mango chutney and the cucumber, it's addictive, seriously. Addictive. And some oranges. Just got one orange, just cut into quarters, and don't know what type of orange it is. I've just got a big, like, packet of oranges. I'm not really sure what type it is. But I'm having this before having my lunch, my lunch, not my lunch, my dinner. I'm cooking like a potato curry, a potato and plantain curry with plants, with, with potatoes. And, pine, uh, and pumpkin on the side. I like to kind of dip in the, the curry. That's my dinner. This is just my pre-dinner snack. It's so nice, I just can't even get over it. Anyway, see you for dinner. I'm having like, some of my dinner, but you know what? My hunger levels are quite low now because I already had um, all that cucumber and orange like an hour ago or whatever, but um, I'm not really really hungry so i'm just gonna have like a bit and then i might have some after so i basically got potatoes i decided i didn't want the pumpkin so potatoes plantain and and they're, they're basically baby new potatoes and some this curry that, that i made which is basically just a tiny bit of coconut milk curry powder garam masala cumin and i put a bit of lime juice in there yeah, so that's my dinner, and yeah. If I have some more, I'll show you. If not, then this is the end of the video.